sunny radio where it's always in the 80s. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. We've got a special thing we do every Friday at this time. We talk to somebody from the Sioux Empire United Way, and today we, today we have Jill Statema with me. Jill, how are you today? I'm great, thank you. And now, the program that you're with is called Sad Isn't Bad. Let's talk a little bit about this program. Okay. So what what is Sad Isn't Bad? What is it you guys do? Sad Isn't Bad is a grief support uh, program for children and their parents or their caregivers. And uh, the importance of it is that there's many kids that are dealing with uh, death and dying in their families, and oftentimes they don't have the opportunities or are not encouraged to um, express their grief. And so our group uh, does that. We meet together as families initially uh, and have a meal, and then we break down into groups with adults and adolescents and children. And then each group does different activities based on their age level and uh, with the encouragement of helping them to express their grief. Very nice. Now, when, when I was a kid, I watched Charlie Brown, and he would say, good grief, but grief can be good. It's part of the process that we kind of need to go through, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Grief is actually um, a normal um, expression of a loss, and it's something that we really can't control. Um, It's the normal feelings that come up, all kinds of feelings like sadness, anger, guilt, um, all of those kinds of things, they they automatically happen, and it's what we do with that grief that can either make it good grief, as you talked about, or can uh, be grief that is not expressed, and then it becomes harmful to the individual. Jill, how long is the program Sad Isn't Bad? How long has this been around? Um, the program started actually in 2007 as a pilot program, and we started just doing it with children and then realized the importance of including the adults along with it, so doing it as more of a family process, because we found that um, oftentimes children don't want to bring up the, the loss or the, the pers- talk about the person who died and the parents don't because of fear of, of causing sadness or whatever in the family. So oftentimes it's just not talked about. And so we realized that the, uh, it, there was an, it was important to have the whole family unit come and learn some different ways that they can talk about memories, talk about the person who died in a healthy way. And I see last year there were 21 children and 17 adults in the program. So that's quite a few people. It is. It is. We actually served over the over the years. We've served 156 adults and 243 children. Nice. Very nice. And and I'm looking on here. It says uh, the next session starts in October. If there's somebody that may be going through a, a situation where they're saying, you know, I could really utilize some help with this. How do they get involved and how do they sign up to be in the next session in October? Well, um, probably the easiest way at this point is to uh, give me a call. And my phone number is 605-212-3037. We do have a website. You can just search Sad Isn't Bad on Facebook, and there should be a link on there. Very nice. Well, again, the program is called Sad Isn't Bad, and it's one of the many organizations that receive funding from the Sioux Empire United Way. And now, it's a pretty good chunk of your budget that comes from the United Way, isn't it? Yes, it is, and we are very thankful for that. We really appreciate the the confidence that the United Way has put in this program and seeing the significance of of what we do for for families in the um, Sioux Empire. Well, thank you for doing what you do. It's it's really a wonderful thing, and I know everybody grieves differently, you know, and I remember when my father passed away, there's six kids in our family, and all six of us grieved in a different way. So, you know, this is something that really is a good thing, that there are some people that need some help with that. Absolutely, and that's an important thing, too, uh, that we teach our families also, is that everybody does grieve differently and that it's okay to grieve differently. And everybody's personality is different, so you wouldn't expect everybody to grieve in the same way. So it is important to, for everybody to know that. Well, Jill, thank you again for doing what you're doing. You're very welcome. We appreciate the opportunity to be able to speak about it on your radio show. Well, we're glad to do this. And every Friday at this time, we connect with a different organization that's a part of the Sioux Empire United Way to kind of remind people why it is they contribute. Because there's a lot of great people in the Sioux Empire that allow the United Way to take a tiny little bit out of their check each week. If you work at a company that allows that to uh, to, to happen, where they can make a tiny little contribution every week, and, and all of those add up, and it makes such a huge, huge impact 
and we, we try to shine the sunny spotlight on each of these organizations to let people know just how many people they're impacting with that decision. So thank you to everybody that does that. Now, if, if maybe your company doesn't offer that opportunity and you'd still like to be involved, you can go to the website for the Sioux Empire United Way. It's really easy to find, org. That stands for Sioux Empire United Way. Again, org. Thank you so much for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Friday.